Hey, how's it going? How's the mood? Woo woo! I want to make it a little bit hotter today. Uh, so my name is Alex. I'm CPO at Staracha. Um, and today I will introduce Staracha to you and actually our really hot, fiery chicken, our mascot. The title that we chose today for our presentation is Some Like It Hot, as a reference to a movie with Marilyn Monroe from the 50s. Um, the reason being is that this movie actually broke with its conventions, uh, it broke with the motion picture conduction code and did something differently. So is Staracha going to do something differently as well? Let's find out. Well, a first provocative question here. Um, so when I walk around Web3 conferences, uh, I typically ask people if they use decentralized storage. And very often, the answer is actually no. Why is that? Well, they typically say, I don't use it because it is slow or it is difficult to use for the ones who have tried it. But most of the people have not even tried it. They just say, well, you know, I'm familiar with S3. I know the interfaces. I get free credits. Uh, it's reliable. It's available. And I'm just going to use it. Unfortunately, decentralized storage is often an afterthought. So I want us to change that together. Um, I want actually um, decentralized storage to be at the forefront uh, when you actually start building, uh, building applications in the Web3 space. Um, and I want us to provide a faster and more user-friendly storage to uh, the app developers and networks. And therefore, we're introducing Storacha, uh, hot decentralized data at scale. Check out our X account with a QR code below. So what is Storacha? Storacha is an object storage built with Filecoin that provides retrievals at a low latency. It also extends Filecoin with a hot storage layer. So for your reference, hot storage on the Scoville scale that you see uh, means that you can retrieve data with a latency of 150 to 500 milliseconds. Uh, so it's below a CDN, basically, but it's faster than many other solutions that we have out there at the moment. So then you wonder, well, how does Storacha now fit within the Filecoin network? Um, first of all, it leverages Filecoin, leverages some of the technologies that Filecoin is using, which are amazing. So it's based on content addressability, ensuring verifiability, um, and it also leverages Filecoin for its horizontal scalability and also durability so that data does not get lost. And Filecoin is amazing at that with its poor app. Sriracha is also a data onboarding solution, actually currently the largest small data onboarder onto Filecoin. But at the same time, Sriracha also extends Filecoin. It will provide an incentivization layer for hot storage and retrieval, and will also add additional features like access control and privacy, um, and will eventually launch as an L2 network. So what can you do with Storacha today already? I actually just had a chat with a game distribution company out there, right? So and they were asking me, well, we're looking for decentralized storage uh, to actually uh, distribute all these peer-to-peer -peer games. Well, Storacha is built for that. Um, so if you want to build a blockbuster game or if you're actually a gaming distribution network, um, you might want to store these game binaries, but you also might want to distribute them and leverage deduplication as part of the content addressing technology here. So then Storacha is the right solution for you. If you're a deep in node provider or deep in network, and um, you want to keep your data sovereignty when you collect like, a lot of new data sets, and you want to monetize on that, Storacha is the place for you. And then if we look at AI and you have a complex, um, let's say, agent application, you want agent to agent um, communication and collaboration, um, we can enable autonomous data access and delegation from one agent to another to complete complex tasks. Well, and we have a big announcement to make today, actually. Soracha is launching its alpha release as we speak this week. <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> so what, what does it mean? It means that Soracha can run as a network for the first time, leveraging Filecoin storage providers, introducing a new proof system, the proof of data possession which was built together with the Filecoin ecosystem teams. Big shout out here to the Cura team and Phil Oz and to Molly, thanks for the support. But we're also uh, releasing access control, leveraging like a new protocol using UCANs. Actually, shout out to Fission, if anyone will watch that later, for developing such great technologies. Uh, and we're also enabling large data retrieval. And if we want to do a deep dive on this now, what this alpha network release means, 
I would like to introduce my amazing co-founder and CTO, Hannah Howard, and she will tell you all more details about this. Thank you so much. Hey, everybody. Oh, my God. This is so exciting. I've been waiting so long to get to, to tell you about this network. So, my name is Hannah. I'm the CTO of Staracha. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to do a little deep dive today on the evolution of Staracha from its roots as originally a centralized service to the decentralized network we're launching today. So Staracha, the company, is very new. But the team that built Staracha is not new. And we've been building hot storage for IPFS and Filecoin for a very long time, or a very long time in this world. <laughs> um, so the very first thing that our team built was NFT storage, the original version of NFT storage, which is still the simplest way to put NFTs onto the internet. Then we took that solution and we generalized it, and we launched Web3.Storage, one of the largest services for hot storage on IPFS and Filecoin that's available today. And now we're launching Staracha. Now, Along the way, we've had a North Star. And our North Star as a team is that we prioritize great user experience. Using Web3 shouldn't be a step down in user experience than using Web2. However, in order to do that, we have sometimes relied on centralized infrastructure when decentralized solutions were not ready. And this creates a contradiction. Oops, I moved that forward. Um, so, we as a team, our goal is to put control of the data on the internet back into the hands of regular people. But we can't do that on centralized services. And so now we've reached a crossroads, right? And it's time for us to get off centralized services and have that breakup. AWS, it was never you, it was always us. So how do we do that? This presents a real challenge. Because we're not willing to give up the good user experience. But at the same time, we need to get to a decentralized infrastructure. That's a challenge, and I'm going to talk to you now about some of the technology we built in order to accomplish this goal. So, so let's, the way I'm going to do this is I want to talk about exactly what defines a great user experience for hot storage of data on the internet. So the first thing you want is really easy content onboarding. I should be able to say, hey, Staracha, I've got this data here, and I want to upload it to the network, and Starachi should just be able to take it and figure out where it should go. In order to accomplish this, we built the Staracha router and upload service. When, when I want, have a file that I want to upload to Staracha, I don't have to do a lot of thinking. I just tell Staracha, I want you to store it, it figures it out. But don't worry, we've also built possibly the world's most auditable data network. Uh, so when you do need to find out exactly what happened, it's 100% possible in ways you couldn't even do with centralized services. The next thing you're going to need is when you want to get your data back, you have to be able to find data really quickly in a decentralized or distributed network. We call this problem content discovery. And what we've built is the Staracha indexing service. It is the most advanced and probably fastest way to find data in all of Web3. Now, when I put data into a storage network, I want to know that no one is going to store it or no one is going to access it without my authorization. And so what we need to do, we need protocols that our storage providers can run that enforce these rules and ensure that when I put data into the Storacha network that the rules will be followed, right? Um, so we've shipped a piece of software called the Storacha Storage Node. And this is shipped and this is this runs in our storage providers operations really easily. It can run in all kinds of storage operations including existing Filecoin storage providers. Now we're at the red meat of hot storage. The red meat of hot storage is durability and availability. These are two qualities you've just got to have. So durability is the guarantee that when you put data into Staracha, 
it will not be lost, right? Now, this would be really hard for us to do if there was not already a battle-tested L1 blockchain that was built on a proof and a consensus mechanism all targeted towards guaranteeing durability. Fortunately, there is. I'm sure most of you know I'm talking about Filecoin. So this Filecoin's proof of replication consensus system is tailor-made to solve this problem. What about availability? Uh, we need to be able to get our data back quickly. So for this, we worked with teams in the Filecoin ecosystem to build a new storage proof tailored for hot storage, so that when you put data into store Acha, you can be guaranteed that it is always ready to retrieve. We call this, as Alex mentioned, proof of data possession. It is a new hot storage proof for Filecoin. It was built by the Phil Oz and Curio teams, and the first client to integrate it is Storacha. Now, that's one, three services and one entirely new storage proof uh, that we've launched. And the last thing I want to tell you before I demo is that we launched all this in three months. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Round of applause. Some of the folks who've been working overtime are here in the room. And this is only possible on the Filecoin network because we have such amazing technology and such amazing developers and technologists. Hashtag Filecoin ships. Woo, okay. Now it's demo time. Now this won't be a live demo. If you want the live demo, you're gonna have to come to our big Bangkok event, the Hot Ones and Zeros party in two days, here if you're here in Bangkok. So, um, but let's go ahead and give this a go. Okay. So, I'm told I'm so... All right, woo. Okay, so this is the Sriracha console. And as you can see, I'm logged in, uh, and I can, I'm looking at my spaces. Spaces are sort of like folders on Storacha. Um, and you can see that I've got the space here that I, I called my awesome town for whatever reason. Uh, and we're going to go ahead, and if I hover over it, I'm going to go ahead and click on that in a second, if I get my timing right. Um, and yeah, so you look at this. <laughs> Sorry, I got my timing. Yeah, so this is what happens when I click on my spaces. It's a list of all the things I've uploaded into the space, and now I'm gonna upload something new. Now, I wanna say Phil Bangkok rocks. Fortunately, I actually have some Phil Bangkok rocks um, with me, and I'm going to uh, go ahead and upload those now. <laughs> so uh, I'm just gonna pick them up, drag and drop, and there you go. Um, you can see it's now uploading, and in just a second, I'm gonna actually get, uh, you probably can't read that on the screen, but there is, right there is a hash for my data that tells me that that data, uh, hash to that and I can retrieve it at that so-called SID. Now I click on it, and you can see it's already retrievable. It's on our gateway right away. I can click on it, and that's coming from Storacha. So the upload is really simple. Let's dive a little deeper into what's going on here. So I'm going back to my list of uploads, and as I go to my list, I'm gonna go ahead, and here's my upload right here that I uploaded, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on it, and you can see I get a bunch of information about this. Um, and the one at the bottom, it's called a shard. Shards are like the little parts of an upload on Storacha. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that shard, and here is where you see the decentralization. You can see right there, there's a direct download URL. Now, you may not be able to read this, but it is at an address that is not storacha.network. That's because it's on a Filecoin storage provider. This is a provider that's run by Magic, one of the members of the Court Curio team. And you can actually, it is actually available to download there as well. Um, now, you see there's not, at the bottom, there's some information about proving. And there's nothing there because I just uploaded it. I'm not yet worried about the data being lost. Um, but I also uploaded another one. I did this just yesterday because we just got this done yesterday. Um, and uh, so I'm gonna, so here's my uh, slightly older upload and I've got a list of four shards for this, this upload. And when I click on it, you can see that 
I've actually got some proofs for proof of data possession that tell me exactly where my shard, is, that, it's, that it's on the file coin, it's on my storage provider, and my storage provider is proving that data is part of an aggregate. And that is Storacha. Now, you might be wondering, when do you get to use this awesome piece of software? Well, the answer is, you can start storing right now. Uh, got to hold on, I'm trying to fit. Right now, you can start storing. We're available. Yes. <laughs> and if you start storing today, you will transparently be upgraded as we roll out this decentralized network. Uh, on the left is a QR code to start storing today. And then on the right is a link to join our discard and become part of our community. We're very welcoming. We really want you to join. Lastly, you got to follow us on X because we love a little social media uh, fun. And uh, you can use that QR code right there uh, to, to follow us. And we're going to have a little prize for everyone who follows us. Very exciting uh, at the end of November. Thank you so, so much, everyone. And see you on Staracha.